We need to be ready to fight tonight. And so for our last four budget cycles, readiness has been our number one priority. So my approach has been uh, uh, commensurate with my responsibility really to feel the most lethal capable force that we can now and into the future uh, because we're facing a pacing, a pacing threat that is China. If I look at the trends from, let's say, 2018 um, to now in terms of how we talk about China, in the 2018 NDS, um, we really talked about uh, great power competition, and that was a focus. Uh, and now, based on what we're seeing from an increasingly aggressive China and Russia, um, we are now, uh, we have our eyes on preparing ourselves for uh, uh, potential uh, uh, fight tonight. And so that could happen at any time and combatant commanders have talked about different time frames, but, but it's a very real thing. And I don't want to field ships out there in a fight uh, that aren't lethal, capable and ready uh, to win. Let's start with the fight tonight comments that he made. Um, recently, uh, China hosted its 20th Communist Party Congress. Um, you know, the big headline to come out of that was looking at a potentially faster reunification timeline with Taiwan. And I just wonder, you know, the Navy had really considered this uh, so-called Davidson window of 2027. And hearing what came out of China um, in the past week, I just wonder what that means for the Navy. Uh, in my mind, uh, that has to be a 2022 window or potentially a 2023 window. I can't rule that out.